Jackie Robinson Day out here for the Milwaukee Brewers as we go up against the San Diego Padres in beautiful, warm San Diego Brewers. 5-9 and nine on the Atlanta Padres. Hot off the heels of another strong year. 11-4. and four. So You can see all the number 42s out there for this Jackie Robinson Day, April 15th. Get ready for more MLB baseball here on the show. Starting game for the Padres is Joe Musgrove. So far, three starts on the with a 205 ERA. Musgrove pitched the first ever no hitter in San Diego Padres history. The San Diego native Leading off tonight, ready to continue Diego. yet another year as Garrett Mitchell. Garrett. Bit of a slow start. Mitchell. Two home runs early on in the year, but a 200 average, 600 OPS. Brings the speedy center fielder up to the plate. You watch a curveball low. Padres the second in the AL West. I believe the Dodgers well ahead of them. Yelich up on deck. Mitchell popping it sky high into left field and ranging over to make the easy grab is Soto, I believe that is. And we'll view the starting lineup for the Milwaukee Brewers. Garrett Mitchell, Christian Yelts, William Contreras, Rowdy Tellez, Willie Adamas, uh, Jesse Winker, Brian Anderson, Luis Arias, and Tyrone Taylor. Brewers off to a very slow start, 196 average in these 13 games played. As Yelich making his way up to 40 average, the former MVP as he watches a fastball right on the outside corner, two-time All-Star, but a few years back, 2018 and 2019, as Yelich swings and misses through the slider by Musgrove. Musgrove doing very well as a part of this lethal San Diego Padres offense. As William Contreras steps in, acquired from the Braves in the offseason, watch the pitch go in there, 262 average on the year. You have pick number 15, and Contreras swings well outside at a slider. Fooled Contreras on that one. And with two strikeouts in the inning, Machado, Cronworth, and Bogarts will come up to face against Eric Lauer. 2.13 ERA in two starts. Lauer, a uh, piece from the Trent Grisham trade back a few years back, also got Luis Arias in the deal. Manny Machado, very strong start to his year. 3.65 average over a 10 OPS. There's the 5 and 9 team, and Machado popping over to Tolez, who quickly flips over to Lauer, and Lauer races over to the bag to get Machado out. We check out their lineup Machado, Cronworth, Bogarts, Soto. Carpenter, Cruz, Engel, Nola, and Grisham. On the exact opposite end of hitting is the Padres, a 290 average, but Jake Cronworth, not a big part of that 182 average. All star the past two years, but so far, a very slow start to his 2023 season. He watches a pitch low for strike one. A full count to Cronworth. Power pitches and throws. Chopped on over, and that'll get past Adamus Mitchell. Cuts it off quickly. But an easy hit for Jake Cronenworth. He continues his way through, bringing up Xander Bogarts. Cronenworth taking off Bogarts, fouling it. Bogarts, a big uh, free agency acquisition this past season as he strikes out looking on that 12 6 curve. Bogarts a very good piece and major part of that Red Sox organization is Juan Soto. Also a big acquisition recently. Follows that one off. Soto one of the biggest young stars in the league and Lauer pitch gets inside. Slider didn't break and it hits. Soto bringing up Matt Carpenter. Who watches a curveball outside. Now full cart to, Car to Carpenter. He will walk as well. Lauer into an early two-out jam for the veteran Nelson Cruz. Cruz DHing as he skies one high and deep. This one's going out deep into the left. But Yelich 
just at the edge of the warning track, manages to haul that one in. Nothing done. End the first inning. Bringing back to the fourth inning. Musgrove still pitching a jam. Yelich up to bat. Watch the slider low. 1-0 count on the former MVP. And that one's just screamed out to first base, but easily oh, snagged by Cronenworth. What an impressive yeah, grab yeah. out there at the first yeah, base yeah. from the All-Star as William Contreras comes in. First pitch chips that one up, and Angle and Cronenworth are just going to watch that sail into the stands. Now, full count for Contreras. And that one did not break right down the middle. William Contreras skying one deep into left field, and that will be gone. Contreras got a pitch to hit. Third home run of the year for the brand new catcher of the Brew Crew. Just an amazing hit out there by Contreras. Skied out into left, and that one that was gone right off the bat. Everyone knew it. Contreras nailing that one right into Western Metal Company. A 25, 26 degree launch angle. 111 off the bat. Contreras would be a big addition. Of course, the catcher position, very difficult to follow in baseball as a slider outside for Tolez. It's hit by pitch back in the second. Catcher, a very difficult position. You're always content with a good fielder, but not a good hitter. It's Tolez. Skies one deep into right field, but Angle camps under it. An easy fly out for him. Pretty deep fly out, but Tolez, nothing now, that, doing that. from Jesus. that. Really? Adamas. Really? Adamas comes in. Adamas still a little bit quiet on his ear. Homered in the previous game. Settling in. And the first pitch will be inside. That will be a strike. Strike on the inside. Half of the plate. 1-1 one, one count. Adamus lining it over and easily grabs. That will do it. But William Contreras managing to hit the deep ball. For the first hit against Joe Musgrove. No no hitter this game. And the game now. One to nothing for the Brewers going into the bottom of the fourth inning. Bryce Wilson will come in to begin his half plate in the bottom of the seventh. Still no runs for San Diego as Matt Carpenter. We'll see a sinker down low. Wilson, a pretty recent acquisition for the Brewers as Matt Carpenter nails that one deep. Taylor going to jump, but for no purpose. Matt Carpenter sailing one out into right field. His second home run of the year. Screamed right off the bat for the former Yankee, the former St. Louis Cardinal. The Brewers, they're familiar with Matt Carpenter's power, but apparently just not familiar enough to the day. And the third baseman on the day just blind one deep into right field. That one scorched off the bat. 107.8 miles per hour off the bat. Nelson Cruz comes in. Hitting very well so far in the year. Cruz, the former Brewer, uh, played his first year in Milwaukee. Was part of their farm system for a while. Now the 1-0 count on Cruz. The miss. Wilson trying to work back from that home run given up. This is the second pitch of the inning, and now Cruz dropped in. Yelich diving, but not going to be able to get it. But Cruz only able to still get a double from that. Yelich definitely a little bit of wishful thinking going for that dive, but I think at that point he just wanted to make sure the damage could be stopped as Adam Engel will take the strike inside. Wilson in a bit of a jam. That one line right above the third base coach for San Diego. 
Going to pop that one up. Yelich, no need to dive on this one. He'll camp under it and launch it over to Adamas. Playing the shortstop position at the cutoff. Austin Nola. Etcher. Fine. Bottom of the order for Wilson now, but swinging through a strike is Nola. He'll chip that one. Arias at second will easily get the throw on to first, but Cruz advances over to third, bringing up the former Brewer, Trent Grisham. Wilson going to throw a slider down low in the zone. Contreras trying to cheer up his pitcher, make sure he's confident. As Grisham chips that one, Telez easily able to run over to the bag and get the out to end the inning, but Matt Carpenter evens up the game with a, not even a moon ball, that was just a streamer over that right field fence out here in Petco Park as we head to the top of the eighth, score is one to one. Jesse Winker coming in, with the top of the eighth against Michael Waka, second inning of work, watches the circle change inside Tim Hill and Drew Pomerantz in the pen for San Diego, Pomeranz, the former Brewer. And Winker, that one sounded nice off the bat, right into the gap. Winker on his horse into second base. He will get up easily with that gap double. First one of the year for the new Brewer. There's lots of people in the year, but Jesse Winker may be at the top of the list. Playing the H on the year. As Joey Weimer comes in the pinch run. Weimer, the young stud out in the outfield for the Brewers. One of many young outfielders that the Brewers have. Getting a little bit more speed on there. And Anderson going to chip it up the middle. Stopped over at second. And now going to get the out. As Carpenter actually playing second. I honestly said that he was playing third. Not able to get the out. Carpenter, just too slow on the, you know, he set his feet a little bit, and I don't think he really had time to set his feet. Bringing up Luis Urias. Urias going to chip that one. And that one drops in the outfield, just barely past the diving glove of Carpenter, and right in between Angle and Grisham, just a no-man's land out there in a shallow right center field, just past the infield. Infield was in to prevent the run from third scoring. Ends up not mattering. And the Brewers, a run with no outs, bringing up Tyrone Taylor. Up 2-1, going to swing and miss at that curveball well outside. Waka fooled Taylor on that one. But now, Taylor, the right fielder for the Brewers. Going to watch another one low. Waka a little bit rattled. And the Brewers looking at confident. Taylor early on the season. 300 average with runners in scoring position. Been a very solid piece and that one. Will be outside. Circle change misses from Waka. Waka former ace pitcher for the Cardinals. Now in the bullpen as that one sky deep into left. But foul for Tyrone Taylor. Brewers working Waka hard on this one. Maybe another pitch outside. Mitchell on deck. Taylor with the full count. Taylor going to swing and miss at the curveball. Well ahead of that one. A great pitch there for Waka to get the first out. And now double play is in effect. But if you want to get a double play, this is not the guy you want to see. Garrett Mitchell very fast on the base pass. And he'll go for a bunt and miss that one. Now a 2-2 count on Mitchell. Doing chip the one and the double play ball is still in effect. Walk it to Bogarts and over to Cronenworth. That will be a 1-6-3 double play, but not before. The Brewers able to score with Luis Arias getting a weak hit, but one that still scores in a run. As we head to the bottom of the eighth, 2-1 is the score for the Milwaukee Brewers. Devin Williams now coming in for the bottom of the ninth. Struggled in his 
appearances so far. 11.5 ERA in his three appearances. And not going to be easy going up against Juan Soto. The young stud. Former national and MVP candidate. But now, Williams. 2-2 count and that one. High and that one's pop. Telez a little bit of difficulty finding it, but ends up getting camped under it nonetheless. First out on Soto Williams. Doing very well as that brings up Matt Carpenter. He's been deadly so far in this game with a home run and a double. As well as a walk over on in the game. Sees that curve go low. 2-2 count. Carpenter swings and misses through it. Williams happy to get that one. And Carpenter not going to be able to inflict any more damage in this one. It's a beautiful pitch on the outside to bring up Nelson Cruz. Cruz not someone you want to see this low down. Williams low into the count. 3-1 and Cruz easily going to watch that one by. The walk. Cruz on first, in front of being Fernando Tatis Jr. Had the off day today, but now coming in to pinch run in this crucial bottom of the ninth as Adam Engel. That's it, former White Sox, as that one's popped up. Anderson, ranging on over into foul territory, camped under it, and that will do it. The Brewers win on Jackie Robinson Day, 2-1, to Bryce Wilson. Will pick up the win in that one, picking up the decision despite giving up the home run. A great showing from the Brewers. A little bit of a slow game, low scoring, a fair five hits for each team, but Wilson picks up the win over Walker. Devin Williams getting his third save on the year. And that will do it for your game. We go over a few of the highlights, of course, this game Defined by the long ball, Contreras and Carpenter both hitting boom balls, while Urias with a little bit of a chipper in that still manages to do it, and that will set your Brewers up for this game and for the next game. The Brewers looking to continue their year and continue heating up on the season.